Hello and welcome to the show. You're watching Game Crossroads. My name is Levi and we're back with another episode of Evo Land Legendary Edition or as we're currently playing right now, Evo Land 1. So, I guess we should get right on into it, shall we? Uh, where's the... there it is. Uh, which one of these was the... There we go. As uh, you may remember, I'm using a keyboard, and this game was built for a controller, but when I plugged my controller in, it didn't automatically find it, so we're still stuck with using a keyboard, which is fine. I'm better with a keyboard anyways. Now, let's see. Where do we leave off? Right. We were about to finish the game, weren't we? So, let's just... Uh, or at least I assume we're about to finish the game. We might not be about to finish the game, but who knows? Welcome to the stream... Montana, welcome to stream Lego Extreme. So uh, I guess we'll go see if this is the final boss or not. If it's not, we'll go exploring. If it is, well, actually, if, if it is, then that's the end of the game. We should probably do our exploring first. Uh, let's just see where this guy says the nearest card is, and the nearest star. Hey, you. How do I interact again? Enter, that's it. Stars, cards, merchant, uh, cards. Double twin. Uh, village, okay, and stars. In Papnuka Village, okay. Then I guess we're going to Papnuka Village. Let me get my cursor off screen because we don't need it. <laughs> All right, let's go. So if I'm correct, we need to go up the river, cross these forests. Hey, welcome to the stream, Cars Dude. Glad you could be here to moderate. Lower the ship down, and let's head on in. And of course, we get interrupted right before we get into a village. Alright, alright. Should have seen that coming. And now you're dead. There we go. Easy. Bit of extra money, bit of XP. So there's a star and a card hidden in this village, eh? I wonder where that could be. Hmm. Somewhere in here, there's a star and a card. Do you know? No. Up here? No. Okay, so you don't have it. Can I find it in here? If I interrupt. Oh. The medium is the massage. Very fitting. Okay, don't know what that means, but all right. The, ult the ultimate guide to everything. <laughs> Got a potion. Not what I was looking for, but okay, it's something. Guess I hadn't explored this this house much. Ooh, right, secret walls. Let's just make sure there aren't any secret walls along here. Because in this art style, the, the developer liked using secret walls. Not in here, though. Oh. Go down the well, sure. It might be down here. So I can attack stuff too. Okay, is there a secret wall here? Maybe here. No. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yep. And I don't have any bombs, so I don't have to look for bombable walls, just walls that I can walk through. Hmm. Okay, uh, it's not here, I guess. Can I get in this house now? Door's locked. Maybe something's in there. Uh, no. Hmm. Testing all of the objects around here. Not getting anything. Trigger stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Anything in these 
boxes. Oh, fifty dollars. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you happen to have any more? Beans down. Um, hmm, how much money do I have? A lot. Yeah, sure, I'll buy a Phoenix down. Where do I... There we go. I will buy one Phoenix down, thank you. Two Phoenix down. Just in case, you know? Just in case. Because you never know. It could be a problem. I don't remember spending a lot of... Oh, uh, potion. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I was looking for, but hey, that's fine. <laughs> 1,001 monsters to kill in one shot <laughs> by Chuck N. <laughs> it's Chuck Norris, I'm guessing. Oh uh, boy, Michael Tails, yeah. Okay, so nothing on this side. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's, uh, that's the villain. Hmm. There's a book here written by the villain. Interesting. How to save the world with the hero's crystal. I don't think I'll need this. <laughs> uh, okay, no. I've already slept here. Huh. Uh, there's a character later in the game that told me that there was a star and a card hidden here. I've already bought the card from the, uh, from the shopkeep, so I'm just looking to see if it's obvious or if it's, like, well hidden. It's close to the well. Okay. Well, that definitely narrows it down a bit. Um, hmm. Maybe, like, do I need to search on the back side of it? Really? <laughs> I knew that I knew that this art style had hidden walls. Ah, there we go. There's the card. Is there anything hidden back here? Huh? Oh, aha! There's a way in here. Perfect. Thank you for that for that tip. Thank you for that tip. I'm pretty quiet. Um is there anything I can do? I can turn this up. There we go. I just turned my microphone up, maybe that fixed it. Don't know. On my program, it says I'm pretty loud, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's walk back out. Okay, so I think we found both the star. I think we found both the star and the, uh... Oh, yeah. If, uh, if, if I'm about to beat the game, we're about to start Evo Land 2, so... Everyone's ready for that to begin. Because I, I started playing this game by vote of the chat. And, uh, yeah, it's amazing. And I cannot wait to play the second one. Okay, no. <laughs> no, I can't find the exit. There's the exit. Okay, let's, uh, head back to the main city, I guess. I just love how the art style changes constantly. I'm sure that some people wouldn't like that, but I think that's just hilarious. Oh! Very cool! Interesting to have one of the playtesters uh, on the stream. Okay, where's the next one? Nora Mines. Okay, and cards. Is it in the same place? The Hidden Cave. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Which should we go towards first, I wonder? This is the mines, I think. Where's the hidden cave? Where? It wasn't here. It's like over here, I think. Yeah, was this it? Was this the hidden cave? It's gonna... Nope, this is the shrine. Oh, is this it? This might have been it. 
Oh, no, this is the mines. Okay, well, we'll quickly run through this to try and find it. Interesting. Yeah, I did notice, like, everything referenced something. Or at least most things referenced something. And I was actually able to get most references, which I was kind of proud of. Is my cursor on screen again? Yep. Not a fan of these wizards, I'll be honest. They're my least favorite enemy. Because, uh, you know, the whole disappearing trick. It's clever and all. It just gets annoying. Oh, a bunch of inside jokes. No, 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 no. Well, we'll, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there will be plenty of those. Makes sense. Lots of games have inside jokes. sweep of the Nora mines before though. Maybe I just need to start bombing random walls. Oh, interesting. I, I probably won't use debug mode. I'm not the kind of thing I do. But interesting to know that that is there. Yeah, that makes sense. Ow. Why did I do that twice? Is there something hidden on the side of the maze? That I couldn't get to because I didn't have bombs yet. <laughs> it's, uh... Kind of funny. That's, uh, yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely a bit of a blatant reference. I'm trying to run around these guys. Bombing the skellies, or, uh... Oh, you're supposed to use a bow on the skeletons. Interesting. Yeah, I started using bombs, because it might be difficult to time, but it was something that I could do. I didn't even think of using a bow. Now, now that you mention that, though, that does make more sense than a bomb. Not that a bomb doesn't work. Bombs do work. to knock him into the void again. I just wanted to. Okay, seriously. Can I bomb this? No. What is the button to open it? Or maybe I need to... No. This is a sword knife. How do you get this? Oh, fall down the third wind hole. fell down the third wind hole before. Oh! Just played that noise. Yeah, I, f I felt like I had fallen down that one before. We'll just run through this again. At least there's no enemies this time. Oh, there's a there's a hidden switch somewhere. Okay.
Oh, I also need to know him the boss. Okay. Oh, I think I can do that. I've beaten the boss twice. Once by having to do it twice by... Interesting. Uh, go back. Okay, hold on. I guess this isn't the fastest way through. Oh yeah, I guess this would take me back, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd take me back to here, and then from there I can get back to the... If I go this way... Should be... No, not there. This way over here. I thought... I'm not beating the boss. I'm just gonna go beat the, the boss without getting hit. Just to make sure I've done that. Because I know I didn't beat the boss without getting hit the first time. Okay. I know your little trick. Ow. Ah, ah, right. Well. Fire always gets me. Defeat you quickly. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. Okay. Oh, the, I don't think the bow will work. Oh, you just need full HP when you kill him. Okay. Ow. Gosh darn it. Mm. Give me more bats. Give me more bats. More bats. Okay, there's some more bats. Ah, no, I ran in the same direction. Why I run in the same direction? Whew, that was close. Ow. Well, when you're when you've got such a, in my opinion, complicated game idea, it makes sense that uh, one of the biggest problems would be bugs. Because I can't imagine how much programming would have to go into making a game with a mechanic more in depth than what it already has here. Because I know in Evil Land 2, there's like a ow, come on, a whole like time travel mechanic. I was looking to see if I could drink a potion that I bought earlier, but no, not in this art style. Ah, it's about time travel, not evolution. Interesting. Ow. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go find a health potion somewhere else, and you're gonna die now. Alright, let me just go find something to heal myself. Gosh darn it. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna go get ourselves healed, we're gonna come back, we're gonna kill the boss at full health. I left my ship somewhere else. <laughs> I'm a fool. Now I gotta walk all the way over here. Why did I think that my ship would be waiting for me? Of course my ship wouldn't be waiting for me. I left it at the other door. Oh, die and reset. Uh, yeah, that would have made more sense, to be honest. Hadn't thought of that. Hmm. 
Now I know where the ship is, it's just on the other side of the, the mountain. It's just I accidentally left it there instead of taking it with me. We could probably buy that DVD thing now, to be honest. We don't have to, I'm, I'm still having fun with the whole loading screens thing, but... Okay. Thank you for the healing. Save the game, why not? Yeah, the, the city just looks so, like, ruined, but also really, like, nice looking. Okie dokie. What, the kid that was running around the center area? Why is he annoying? Okay, nothing bothered us on our way back here. That's nice. Alright, let's try and beat this guy. I have full health. Oh, come on. Really? 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 Okay. Oh! Mm. I always misjudged that. More bats, please. More bats, please. Thank you. No, no, I need bats with hearts. Why do I suck so bad? <laughs> okay, kill me already. Yeah, I'm not the best at, uh, like, top-down, like, action RPGs and such. I'm more, uh, better at, like, city builders and first-person shooters. It's my area of expertise. Can I just fall on this a bunch of times? Uh, get the chest. Where's that? I should play Half-Life. Uh, yeah, I've always thought of playing Half-Life. I, I don't have it yet. I was thinking of getting it at some point. Is there any, like, healing items? Hmm. Really? Interesting. It's not going to be any health in there, only ways to lose it. Where it went in there. If I can get myself back to full health, it'd be great. Oh! Okay. So there's even an achievement behind it. Interesting. There's two chests that I'm missing, eh? Should go away. Ow. Uh, 
gotcha. Only got me back however much damage he took from me. It's annoying, but I got him. There's one behind the gate. One where the key was. Huh, really? back up by killing all these bats. Dang it. I just wondered about this. Is there a chest here? I can't remember. Let's just put a bomb there, see if anything happens. Nope. Okay, there must have been a chest there before. Okay, so there's a pressure plate two rooms before. Which you mean is somewhere around here ish. Maybe through here. No. Hmm. That would be three. No, I think it's over here. No, no, I've been in here before. There's a chest there. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I probably wouldn't play it on the channel, though. I don't think it's, uh... I stay within a certain kind of... I don't know. I don't think you'd say age bracket for games. There, there's, there's, there's a bit of, uh... Testing I do with all the games I play first. Not sure if Half-Life would fit on the channel. Although it is a really good game. Just not sure if the audience I have would, uh enjoy it as much. I, I must be I must be blind to not be fine. I feel like I'm I'm not getting something that is obvious. Doesn't help that there's a you know a beta tester here. Okay. Did these already. Back to the key room. Well, yeah, that's true. But at this stage, I, I, just, I still, uh, I still like to entertain the viewers with something they want to see, which is why I have them vote on the game that I play. Out of eight games that I've picked, which, of course, just to remind everyone, there is that whole voting thing at the bottom of the. Of the live stream to vote on what game you want to see me play next. No, there's no going against that. Hmm. Oh! Well, there's it. There it is. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, there's the chest. Just go through the wall in this room. Oh! <laughs> this game. This game. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I keep... I keep thinking the game won't pull that trick on me again, and then it does, and I'm like, ah, oh, gosh darn it, I'm an idiot again. Oh yeah, yeah. The number of times I'm just like that game. The game won't do another invisible wall trick. Yes, it will. 
Y yes, yes, it will. Don't don't think it won't. It will. <laughs> oh gosh, darn it. Oh, it's the same for the pressure plate. Got it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's walk through every wall then. Just in case it could be a wall we can pass through. Okay, let's check this one. You never know. Gotta walk through every wall. Oh, you'll see a pressure plate close to the wall. Okay, well that makes things a little easier. Okay. So I'm just gonna hug the walls until I see a pressure plate on the other side of the wall. Okay, what about in here? Come on, auto mod, let that one through. Oh, it's before the big hole. Oh, the big hole. Okay, okay. Okay, the big hole was through here. So, oh, I can maybe kill this bat one. Go in there. Or not. Eh. <laughs> Are you seriously? Come on, guy. There we go. Oh, you're all back. Good, good. I need some health. Are you? There we go. Got him. <laughs> yeah, but when you're looking for secrets, that's what you're doing. Yeah, I think that big hole was somewhere around here, so I'm gonna start walking through. Okay, I'd start attempting to walk through walls now. Oh, there it is. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, it is a lot easier to kill the skeletons with a bow, isn't it? Thanks for the tip there, uh... Jungle Dragon. It's hard to tell what some names are when there's no spaces. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, so that's the, that's a card and a star from here, but we still have the one from ah. We still have the one from killing the boss without uh, taking any damage, or by finish the boss battle with full health. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, nope, 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 <laughs> no, not trying to get through that again. Not gonna try and get through that again while also trying not to take damage. That's uh that's a big old no, let's just go this way. I know I take a little bit of damage, but it's better than trying to walk through that room. Fall down the big hole, there's a chest there. Hmm. You see, you say fall down the big hole, there's a chest there. And you've been right with everything so far. But that also simultaneously feels like something someone trolling me would say. And the correct answer. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, I'll try it. We'll see what happens. This could just be a trick. But I'm basically at full health, so I'll test it anyways. But not, I, I'm squinting my eyes at you. Because I'm like, hmm, that doesn't sound right, but I also can't say you're wrong. 
I was wrong. You tricked me. <laughs> I knew that it could be a trick, and I fell for it anyways, gosh dang it. Oh boy. I knew, I, knew that there, I knew there'd be a trick at some point. There's always gotta be a trick at some point. There it was. There's the trick. Okay. Let's go. That's on the right way. Let's go fight this boss, because we're out of enemies to kill this dungeon. <laughs> boss can give me three bats that drop hearts without me taking damage and I can kill him then we're golden problem is I suck at video games <laughs> this has always confused me <laughs> with a play tester trick I'd never trick you you just did oh shoot cuz I killed him once already I need to ah. Okay, so I need to walk out of here, then walk back in. <coughs> oh, and then I need to leave out the other direction so I can get my flying vehicle. Really? More bats, please. That's not bad. <laughs> Come on, spawn bats. No, that's fire. Spawn bats. No, that's fire again. You need to learn the difference between fire and bats. No, it's still fire. <laughs> There we go, that's bats. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Thank you. Really? No thank you. These are not health bats. None of those were health bats. Come on, dude. I need health bats. Bats. Thank you. One more, one more. One more bat. No, 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 bats. I need bats. Bats, please. No, that's fire again. No, that's, that's fire again. There we go, bats. No! No! Now I need another bat. Bats, please. Nope. That's dash. Nope, that's dash again. No, that, that's Dash again. Whew. Whew. Okay. No, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. That's a lot of fire, dude. Come on. Seriously. Just need a quarter of my health. Come on, bats. Bats, 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 bats. Nope, bats. <sighs> Whew. Whew. Come on, bats. Nope, that's fire. I need bats. I need bats, I'm telling you. Go to a different dungeon to find other bats, but you, you close the doors when I spawned you in. Oh, 
Oh no! No! Come on, dude. I just need some bats. I just need some bats. Come on, fingers don't let me down now. Imagine there's no achievement. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna find bats somewhere else. I'm just gonna go find bats somewhere else in here. I know there's other bats in here. This is more, this is so annoying. Right, bow. Yep, there we go. Just go back to the village. Why should I go back to the village? Oh, I guess to get health, yeah. Plus, I can go grab my ship now, because I'm on that side of the dungeon. I left my ship out here, I think. There it is. Also by the fast DVD player. Oh, why? It's fun. Yeah, I've got like, what, $8,000? I should probably buy it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I've got like $7,000. It's not that hard to grind up some more money, so. I guess I could unlock something else, now that I think about it. Bye. Fast DVD player. Oh, and it gets me achievement. I didn't even think of that. That's a good point. Right. Uh, did you win every card difficulty? No, I was trying to get every card before I did that. But I have beaten easy and medium so far. Thank you. Yeah, what other difficulties are there? I can't remember. Because we only barely won medium, but we have a lot of new cards now. Yeah, I've got hard and champion after that. Let's just do it hard now. Okay, oh wait, no, I do it with this. Okay, so... Ooh, star. Yeah, I guess that just overrides everything. Um, hmm, hmm, three, one, five. If it matches, I lose, if I'm correct. What does it mean? I said if it matches, I win. It's a very powerful card you put on the bottom. Um, hmm. I could beat it out with that on top, but then I would probably have it immediately taken from me. Not that it'd be hard to get back, it's only a four. Um, you know what? We've never tested this. Let's just see if this takes his card or if I lose mine. Okay, so if it matches it, okay, and he just took that. Thanks, guy. Oh, uh, we got nothing that can beat that. Eh, oh no. Okay, so this is definitely hard. This one, I guess. I'll have to go there. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, no, then he's gonna lock down the corner. God, I didn't think of that. Yep. Yep, that's what. Uh... Uh, but actually, now I can take those two. Ha <laughs> ha! He's gonna take that card I just put down, isn't he? Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh, well, uh, that looks like a, a loss for me. Yeah. Because the best I can do is that, but that's not gonna do anything. So then he puts that, and it's a draw, which means I lose. God! God darn it! Didn't know that there was a there was a card of me in there. Let's just try that a second time. <clears throat> Whoa! Oh yeah, that card. Right. Take the corner, or is he gonna try and take the piranha plant back? Yes, okay. Makes sense, uh, but that means that I can. Is there one that would take out that without using the star? No, there isn't. Yeah, that makes sense. Because that locks in the corner. Got that corner card now. You just gonna place that out in the open, okay. Um Guess I'll lock down the other corner too then. <laughs> cool, these are mine now. You might be able to get the center, but that's about it. And you didn't. I have the entire top row to myself now. You fool. This one would be the hardest one for him to get rid of. There you go. And all you can do is place one more card down, which means I win. Ha! -ha! And you didn't even take a card. <laughs> Look behind you. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm I'm on a roll. Let's see if I can beat the hardest one. We haven't gotten all the cards yet. But I don't think that really matters. Okay, so we got. Oh, you're letting me place first. That was a horrible plan. Yep, that was an absolutely crap tier plan. But I also have that card and can take that one back. Yeah. Ah. Well. <laughs> So he's locked in two, and I've locked in none. Okay, well, he's 
locked one of mine in now. Yeah, that was uh, garbage, actually. That was absolute garbage. And now you're gonna. Mm. Uh. Ah, that skeleton did not help me at all. Ugh. Okay, let's try again. So, do I have to start every time? No, you have to start this time. Okay. should get better cards. That's what I was trying to do. If I lose this one, then I'll go get better cards, I guess. I'm gonna guess he's gonna take this card. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. I... Oh. I can take it right back, locking it in. No, wait, nope, that's just gonna equal out. Never mind. Is there any way I can take you? It's 61 cards in Evil Land 2. Oh goodness, that's a lot. Um. Dang. This is not a great roll. The rest of my cards are kind of crap, to be honest. Yeah, and he just... Ah, come on! I don't got anything for that now. I can't take any of your cards. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, and there's no, like, forfeit button. Oh, I need to try that. At least you're not taking that. You're gonna take that, aren't you? Nope. Seems to be a bit of luck of the draw, because I got a lot of, uh, really kind of bad cards. Ay ay ay. How many cards do I have? I've got 19 out of 23, so there's still, like, four-ish missing. How many of the stars do I have? 28 out of 30. Nice, 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 nice. Hold on a second. Just gonna check how many of the achievements am I missing still. Because there can't be... Right, this is Legendary Edition. I can't tell how many of the cards are left. <laughs> uh, well, that's gonna make things a little difficult. Because it's like, ah, oh, how many achievements are left? And then I realized that I have all the achievements and all of the achievements from the second game. Well, uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Where's the next star? Sh oh, it's the shrine, really? The hidden cave. Oh yeah, I never went to the hidden cave. Huh. So we're just gonna stop off quickly here, I guess. Why do they put you at the bottom, I wonder? Who knows? There must be another hidden wall in here. I'll bet you it's another hidden wall. Based on the last dungeon, it's gonna be another hidden wall. Because the hidden walls seem to be all the things I'm, I'm missing at this point. Look for like a room, just off. I'll start walking through walls. Thank you. 
go. That. Stop that. Oh, a bumbable wall. There we go. Perfect. This gives me another star. Only one star left. Wonder where it is. I legitimately have no clue. Which is why I keep asking that other guy questions. He seems to know where all the secrets in this game are. That and the that, that and the, uh, the tester. there's more wizards. Why wouldn't there be more wizards? Everyone loves wizards, don't they? Come and get me. Ah, you fool. Hold on for my trap you have. Ha! No one's still out there, isn't it? Got the star, I can leave now. <laughs> okay, just gonna ask for last stars, because if I'm gonna collect everything in this game, it's gonna be at least the stars. I at least like to collect all the stars. If I don't collect all of the cards, oh well. I just like to really just match me attack key. So I know I can kill Miss Miss? Why is everyone missing? Ah, gosh darn, I nearly killed you. Ow. There we go. The Sacred Grove. Oh yeah, I felt like there must be something still in there. Grove is so confusing though. Thank you. No, I just saved. I don't need to save again. Okay, okay. in the sacred grove, but where in the sacred grove? Guess I could have just walked here, couldn't I? Oh well. There you go. Just barely fits in there, doesn't it? Hmm. It's probably near the end, to be honest. Thinking about it, it's probably near the end. It's a little annoying because it means we have to walk all the way through all these puzzles again, but oh well. I do like myself a little bit of 2D. I'm a bit better at 2D than I am at 3D. We got in the one in the bottom room, or in the bow room. Uh, yes? I searched like every nook and cranny of this area. Go check. 
Okay. Okay, well, I'll have to figure out where the boat room is again. Oh, well, there it probably is. That was easy. Uh, hmm. Yep, we found it, boys. Uh, now we just have to figure out how to get to it. Oh, the hard one. Well, that would explain why I haven't gotten it yet, then, wouldn't it? Oh, wait, hold on. Then. Okay. I assume that has something to do with it. Ow. Ow. Go away. Just stab him. Okay, okay. Get you. There we go. A start key though. I'm like, I'm not using a controller. The problem. Yeah, I tried using a controller before and it just it wouldn't accept uh, the controller inputs at a time for some reason. I knew there must be something down here still. Oh yeah, I got your reference. That's the Konami code, yeah? Yeah, up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right, E, A, start. Yeah, that's the Konami code. Well, this was easier than it, than it, had, than it had to be. Got it! Oh, wait, wait, it's a card. That's not a star. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait a second. That's not what we came here to get at all. I can't remember to get a star, that's a card! Uh... <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, that was the exit! No! Something. <laughs> is this the bow room? Is la la la. Okay, this is it. Okay. <laughs> this game! This game! Every single time. Uh, <laughs> I always assume, nah, nah. It would show me if that was an invisible wall. And then it does.
I'm too trusting of you, game. Ah, well, that gets me back to start anyways. Yep, I found all the hidden stars. Da -da 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 -da. Oh really? Okay, well that'll make things a little nicer, at least. Because invisible walls are one of those things where I'm like, Oh, come on, how was I supposed to know? At least with bombable walls, they're usually cracked looking, so... Unless you're like, into the real... The real annoying games, which are just like, Hmm, yes. Uh, that is, uh, hidden. Now where's the hidden lines, or whatever they were called? Where's the end of the game, I think? I would assume. Down here. It said the hidden cave has another card. I only need like. Yeah, I only need three more cards. Yeah, old games had lots of invisible walls. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I've played a couple of those old games. It's just like, why? Why are there so many invisible walls? You don't need this many. Nobody needs this many invisible walls. And yet there they were. Where's the hidden cave? Up here. Is this a hidden cave? This is the hidden grove. Yeah, the hidden meadow. Is this the hidden cave? The hidden cave. Okay, so there is a car- It's behind an invisible wall, isn't it? It's gonna be- It's gonna be behind an invisible wall. It's gonna be behind an invisible wall. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Know this for a fact, it's gotta be behind an invisible wall. Yes, it is! Ah, <laughs> Come on, kill him, just kill him quickly. Oh, yeah. Goodness, the Ren Bowls always just scare me a little. Bottom right, okay. Well, that narrows it down a little. Oh, wait. You literally mean this bottom right now, okay. <laughs> it's like, so you mean this bottom right or just a bottom right? Mustn't be the bomb right now. Too much bottom, not enough right. <laughs> yeah, that'd uh, be the that'd be the case. Go up, around, back down. Well, at least there's only one that time. The only annoying things we have to climb our ways. We have to climb our way back out again. You gotta be kidding me. This game and its invisible walls. I'm so glad that we had a, a, uh, a beta tester here, or a, a game tester, whatever the title is, telling me about all these invisible walls because, oh goodness, I wouldn't have expected this many invisible walls. I was like, oh, they, oh, that's funny, they pulled the invisible wall trick, and that was in, like, the, the, the first cave you're supposed to go into. It's like, oh, they pulled that invisible wall trick, oh, that's cute. Uh, they probably won't do that again. Does it, like, another 10, 15 times. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Interesting. Okay, let's head all the way back here. Get the information. This guy. We're only missing two more cards, so come on. Nope. Okay, you found all of them. Yes, I know that. Okay. To the mines. Oh, really? It was made in 24 hours. That's cool. The fact that they did all this in 24 hours, that's amazing. Okay, so it says the next one's in the mines. I'm gonna bet it's the get all those, like, defeat the boss without taking damage thing. How much health do I have? I'm still missing. Yeah, with the invisible walls, you kinda just gotta, like, diagonal step against everything. It's a little bit of a waste of time, but if you want all the content, then you gotta do it. Oh, they do kind of show over there? Well, yeah, because you can sometimes see, like, the other area. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Why must you? Why must you be like this, Bats? Yeah, because you can always see, like, where the invisible wall goes on the other side of the wall. You just don't know which tile in the wall is the right one to walk through. Yeah, I just get paranoid and start walking through every single wall. Really? Really? <laughs> okay, there's one. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Bat! Bats! Did you get over here? I know I've killed every other bat in here like five times, but get over here. You didn't even have a... <laughs> Why does it have to just be there? Okay, we got it. 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 Okay. Okay. Full health. Let's do this. I'm assuming this is what it means when there's another card hidden here that's talking about this. I have no idea which card you were missing. Well, we'll see. I haven't beaten the boss without taking damage, or beaten the boss with full health, so that might be it. But if we can't figure it out, in like the next five minutes, I'm just gonna go fight the final boss. <laughs> Cause I, all right. I planned on this being the, uh, the final episode of this game, and then we go right into Evil Land 2. So I'm giving myself a half an hour to fight the final boss, which is probably way more than the one I need. Oh, you just get an achievement. Okay, well, achievements are nice, too. I do try to 100% games, too, so... An achievement would be nice. Hey! Oh, did I already get the achievement? Hey, there we go. Dodgeball. Nice. Yeah, we've walked all the way through this dungeon with no clue of where that card could be. <laughs> it is nice to get that achievement though. Bye.
Well, that might be the case. So we we probably won't 100% Eva Land 2. The the point of the the point of this series isn't to 100% games. It's kind of to play through them and enjoy them. But I decided like with so little content left at the end of the game, I was like, oh well, I might as well at least try to 100% this. Oh, you need to play on hardcore for 100. Okay. Yeah, which I probably won't do. Yeah, let's just go fight the boss. Let's just go fight the boss. I'm not gonna... I'll, I'll look up something like offline to, to figure out where these last two cards are. Because <laughs> I know where the cards I got were, and I don't know where the cards I need are. So... I'll just get those another time. Let's go fight the final boss. Okie dokie. There's anything in these trees. I've never been on this part of the the island or the continent. So. Oops. Oh, I walked in the back door accidentally. Whoops. Zephos, stop hiding. Show yourself. I was waiting for you. This is quite the arena. Are you gonna be a giant? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> You're gonna be the 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 giant colossus villain at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. You finally came. Let me tell you a story. Ooh, okay, let me get a comfy chair. A long time ago, my people were ruling this land, but they were attacked and killed for their horns. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm the only survivor, and I'll take my revenge today. You'll share in the same fate as the girl. The mana tree will be your graveyard. Oh, okay, it's one of these fights. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, this is neat. Running, running, running. Whoop! Ah, ah, not good. Run, 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 run. Eh, eh. Whoop! Ah, that is how I hurt you. Eh, eh, eh. health do you have? Woo! That's close. Ow. Just some minor crushing damage, nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh! Okay, that's one. That's one hand dead. to get on his other side. There we go, that's two. Aha! Ah! <laughs> Ow! That hurt. Eh. Ow. Is there a way of dodging that, I wonder? Or is it just running? Oh, it's a bone arrow thing. Okay. Over here. Ah, interesting. Ooh. Ow. Yep. Yes. Oh, how many times do I have to do that? No, 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 over here, I run over here, and slap. Run, 
run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, this is very cool, I'll be honest. This is a very well-designed boss fight. I am a fan. <gasps> Did I beat you? He's an orb now. Surely it's nothing but... Uh, this looks bad. Uh, run this way, run this way, run this way. Oh, okay. Hi. You're no longer a giant colossus thing. You might have broken my stone armor. But in this shape, you cannot hit me anymore. You have a point, you're way out there, but I do have a bow. I'll burn every part of you. Uh, whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, okay, those track, those track. Uh, is this something I can hit back? Yes, it is! Video game logic saves me again. Run away until you see the blue and then slap it back. Old Leisure Zelda logic. Aha! Stop using those blue ones, fool. Ah, uh, that's not coming back, is it? <laughs> Ow. Is that blue? Nope. Eh. How about now? Whoop, run. Whoop, run. Oh, running again. Running again. Eh. Yep, running again. During all these centuries, I've witnessed too many amazing things. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears and rain. Time for me to join my people. Oh, he's just gonna explode. I... Sh I think I should probably be running. Oh, that's... And there he goes. I guess I win? I win! You got Kiro, you've defeated Zephyrus. Woohoo! I did it! I'm the, I'm the hero! <laughs> it's just playing the, the winning music over and over. That was so cool, like the early bit of the game where you're like unlocking little bits of the game was so cool. Shiro Games, what an amazing job. I guess it's time to play the second game. We got, uh, 25 minutes. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot about the early 3D graphics. I forgot about that entire part of the game. The mid-tier 3D graphics. The HD 3D graphics? Yeah, there we go. So cool. What a good game. I didn't get to find all those cards, but I'll probably hit back and uh, see if I can get those. Doing bad things that Zephyrus played. You. <laughs> Freely inspired by Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Diablo, and many others. Yep. That's, uh, I got, I got a lot of references to those games. You've completed 95.6% of the game. Ah, very close. 2013. Okay, you won the game, press A, return to the title screen. Returning to title screen. Okay, let's, uh, new game, two. Ooh, enjoy the adventure. Hard but fair. You don't want that. Uh, hmm. 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 Okay, chat, which should I do? I'm not gonna do hardcore, but should I just do adventure or good old arcade? Hard but fair. Good old arcade is the best. I would expect that the game is like balanced for good old arcade difficulty. And I feel like the original game was default set to good old arcade as well. And I'm kind of leaning toward. Yeah, okay, you know what? Sure. 
<laughs> Good old arcade it is. Yeah, and the rest of the chat count up in. Hello, G. Uh, going to begin your daily physical training session. Okay. <laughs> when you hear the buzzer, move to the right. Congratulations, G. On with the exercises. When you hear the buzzer, move to the left. Well done. Now look around, up at the ceiling and down at the floor. Ah, and there we go, it opens up. Very good. You should now feel the overwhelming urge to leave this room. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt there was something akin to uh, Portal. It would, it would be totally like summed up if it was like, okay, now press space to speak, and then you jump. I've played Portal 2. I've... I've I did feel the buzzer was a little odd, so I was like, oh, maybe it's just from, maybe it's referencing one of the more sci-fi games. Oh, perfect, G, very good. <laughs> now you know that the world is not limited to a single room. Look farther. Bushes. Excellent, G. As you can see, scrubs, yes, shrubs are blocking your way, not scrubs. You should feel an irrational desire to chop them down with a sword we provided. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, where's the sword? Oh, is this on a... No? Which key is it on? Not that one. Okay. I obviously... Ah, oh, there we go. Found it. It's on F. Interesting. Congratulations! You're quite pleased to have chopped down those shrubs. As a reward, we will put on some relaxing music. Yeah, this is very portal. Good, you appreciate this music. I didn't say that, but it's not bad. Continue on your way, G. And <laughs> we will now conduct a combat test in which, and oops, our apologies, a computing error. In, in short, fight. <laughs> oh. I can swing my sword much faster in this game than I could in the last one. Nicely done. You're pleased with your fight, sure. So that's him. He passed all the tests with flying colors. Well, mostly green. Yes, he's just right for the task. We'll be entrusting to him. I certainly hope you're right. A single misstep could bring about the end of time itself. Rest assured, Professor. We've checked and double-checked. Everything will proceed as planned. I'm just standing here like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Good. Then we'll be able to activate the machine. Make the necessary preparations. Yes, Professor. I can't do two voices at the same time. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Sound like an explosion. A long time ago, the Magi civilization had discovered great secrets. I love this art. No one knows how exactly, but it disappeared soon after that, marking the beginning of a new era. Now that's some nice art. In the year 950, humans and demons fought a merciless war. The human empire won at great cost. So this is kind of like some backstory on the first game as well, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Fifty years later, the city of Genova wait, really? is preparing the remembrance ceremony of the victory. But not everything is as peaceful as it seems. I, I think the, the city name is a reference. I'm pretty sure the city name is a reference.
Oh, and we're no longer in just green now. Ah, the old hero wakes up at the beginning of the story. Or refuses to wake up because they're a night owl. Night owl. Oh, you're awake. Are you feeling better? I don't know what happened. <laughs> My father found you passed out deep in the forest. You don't remember anything. Not even your name. Maybe if you wandered around the forest, that would help jog your memory. By the way, I didn't introduce myself. My name is... Oh, shoot, we got to do another whole naming thing. Uh... Our story's just basic... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I... I can see a bit... I can see that reference to Undertale. We actually... Did we play through Undertale? Oh, no, we, there's a half... There's a half-finished series because I lost the footage on the channel. Right. Forgot about that. Uh, choose a name. Should we just go with the pixie? Uh, that would work. Anybody else got suggestions, or should we just stick with the... The basic? We have access to all these symbols now. <laughs> I would name every character A. <laughs> No, in the in the last one we named uh, we named the magic the magic girl we named what did we name her Peach right because we we're we we're just having everyone named after like Nintendo characters oh Sarah that's not bad because we had what was it the girl's name we named her Peach we named our character Link and then we named the character that owned the flying ship McCloud and we named Fox McCloud. <laughs> Because, yes, the game was making references, but we decided we also wanted to make some references. Uh, do I have to... Is F? No, is... Ah! Okay, good thinking. Okay. Um... Ah, space. Okay, got it. Uh, S, A, oh, A, R, I, A. Could name her Zelda. But we did that, we did something like that in the last game, so let's... I, I love that, uh... The, the... More niche reference of the Ocarina of Time. I'm so bad at the alphabet, where's R? There it is. Uh, I... Wait. There's I. And A. Okay, there we go. Is that right? Looking at what you typed. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Exactly. I I hope you remember everything quickly. I do like the character design. I'm I'll be honest. I'm a fan of goggles. Goggles are cool. Can we uh nick stuff from the chests? <laughs> you can be climbing the frames. <laughs> uh no. Nothing there. Okay. I need to get used to... I guess space is interact now. Forgot. A fire must be nice in the winter. Nice pot that must contain a lot of interesting things. But you can't open it. Alchemy instruments, mushrooms and butterflies. Who could use that? Oops. This chest could probably be opened if the developers of this game had time to code it. <laughs> that is my favorite kind of tool tip. The chest contains a beautiful green adventurer costume. I get it. I get it. No way you could wear that. You would look ridiculous. <laughs> a bed. It's probably something more interesting to look at. <laughs> you found a hundred G. Really going to steal from those who helped you? Good. Best to leave the money here. It's not like you're gonna need it. <laughs> okay, game, if you say so. Oh, we have NPCs walking around now. Hi. You're the young man I found in the forest, aren't you? Sir. Soria has been worried about you. I need to figure out the pronunciation of that name. Be sure to thank her when you get the chance. 
If you wish, to, if you wish to go in the forest, take the path across the bridge and make your way north. But you'd do well to get yourself a weapon before you head out. Oops. Ah. No. No. <laughs> there we go. Bottom of the well, you make out the remains of an adventurer. Who would be dumb enough to go down a well? <laughs> And that's a reference to the previous game where that was part of the plot. It's going into a well. Oh, I love it. That's great. Morgan's demons ended 50 years ago at the Empire of Victorious. We've had peace ever since, but you never know. Best keep running to stay in shape. <laughs> Normally I'd be out for a stroll in the forest around this time, but a bunch of monsters appeared there recently. In fact, that was right after Fernrost brought you here. They attacked you, didn't they? Yeah, probably. I heard the pirates are camped out in the Cursed Isle. So far, they've only attacked boats belonging to Sea Ra traders. <laughs> Rumor has it that their leader is a giant with crazy big mustache. That makes sense. I have a thing for mustaches. <laughs> oh, this game. This game. up here. It's like we're going deep into the forest. Hello? Have you heard of the sylphs? Sil sylphs, I think? The strange beings that exist out of time. Some say a sylph, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, lived in these parts long ago. What might have happened to her? Hmm. Who knows? It's a mystery. This bamboo? Cool. I love meta jokes. Meta jokes are, like, awesome. It's my bread and butter. This door is closed. Yeah, I wouldn't guess that game. <laughs> this, this door is closed. Hmm. Couldn't have told that myself. Guess we gotta go this way, then. There's an inn. We're coming up on the 50th anniversary of the demon's defeat. Can you go around the back of that big house? Maybe. I'm planning to wear my finest dress at the fireworks show in Genova. Oh, some kids playing. Okay, let's. that's a good point, Montana. We should definitely check around to see if we can get to the back of the houses. We do not seem to have a sword. Let's run up this way. We can't get around the other side, so let's see if we can get around this side. Uh, no. It would appear we cannot. Oh well. It was a good, it was a good hunch, a very good hunch. But I don't think, uh, I don't think we've unlocked kind of just open exploration here just yet. I wonder if my controller would work now, because this game was made in more than 24 hours. So let's just see. Plug this in. No, okay. Controller still doesn't work. I probably have to put the controller in before I start the game instead of after I start it. I'll think about that for next episode. Yeah, I know the controller should work. I just know that it isn't working right now. Whoa, that's a lot more stuff to collect. Okay, yeah. Into the inn. The Magi and the Guardian, Imperial Library Publishing Group. Okay. What is this? You found five gold. Cool. Pretty sure that night table is straight out of the other game. <laughs> oh! Oh, look! Look at that! This is a painting! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> What good use of the old character sprite. Make make him into a painting. That's awesome. This inn was built shortly after his grandfather founded the village. Oh, that's cool. We welcomed any traveler who wants to rest here. Well, except demons, of course. <laughs> no way is one of them going to set foot in my place. Makes sense. I assume they have good reason to hate the demons. This chest contains a mighty armor. But it's really too heavy. You shouldn't skip leg day. Nice. It's empty. Oh, okay. 
It's empty. It's empty. They're all empty. It's empty. It's empty. We found 5G. Uh, the Merchants Illuminati of Genova. What? By Dr. T. Conspiracy. <laughs> oh boy. It's empty. Welcome to Everything Under the Sun. Here you'll find everything under the sun. Except I don't have anything to sell at the moment. The road to the Empire's capital was blocked by rock slide. It'll probably be a few more days before they cleared out. Yes, I know, another rock slide. It's like they happen every other day. Looking for a weapon to go into the forest? There may be one in the old house northeast of the village, but it's been abandoned since... I'd rather not talk about it for now. Try to track down old man Pole. He's got the key. But watch yourself, he's not the most easygoing sort, especially if you bother him while he's fishing. Okay, don't bother him while he's fishing. Make sure to bother him while he's fishing. <laughs> don't you dare tell Saria it's... Yeah, Sar Saraya. I hate Saraya. But I'm kind of jealous of her. I mean, she's the chief's daughter and she's so sweet and full of life. And apparently she has magical powers. Ah. Although her whole family is a little off. Eh, magic does that, I would guess. Oh, he's fishing. Hello? Have a nice day of fish in peace with nobody around to bug me. Well, almost nobody. What? The key to the old house? Uh, I might have it. Or not. Depends. How about you do me a favor and return? Yeah, sure. See, I have this fish-related issue. Can't seem to solve. Maybe a young fellow like yourself could help me out. Oh, uh... And one fishing rods. My fishing rods are all tangled up. I can't tell which one from another. Each time they cross, follow the line that goes left or right. Which rod should I use to catch that fish? Uh, four. Throw a bomb in the water. <laughs> that that would also solve our problem, I think. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it should be four. Ooh, that's cool. Nice. I like the art style. Thanks for helping me out. Let me give you this old key. It's no good to me anyway. And that's the sound for- Oh, hey! You got the key to the old house. Use a guy to insert the lock of the appropriate door, then turn. <laughs> it's just instructions on how to use a key. Come on, everyone knows how to use a key. Did you get the reference? Oh! <gasps> Ah, oh, that makes sense, yes. Because it's puzzle and then it does the... Ah, uh, yeah, the... Ah, uh, it's cool. Ah, uh, I haven't I haven't played a Professor Layton game that I want to. There's a lot of games where like, I haven't played that, but I want to. I just won't stop cutting wood. Where are we going to store all this? Hopefully the Forest Guardian isn't too upset by all the racket. <laughs> oh, goodness, that is a lot... Stop cutting down the forest. You don't need that much wood. I just love chopping wood. I could do it all day and night without ever getting bored. Why can't my wife see that? At least you understand me, right? No, why are you doing this? You don't understand the thing. <laughs> so you're just standing this to a pond. Someday I'm going to explore this frozen continent for myself, just like the famed explorer. Largo. Uh, okay. But today is not a good day. I'm about due for a nap. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Up north there's an old sp spellbook forest, but that's usually pretty quiet. Okay. And what about you? Legend has it that a guardian in the forest. Uh, the place does have some very ancient ruins, but I've never run into a guardian there. Why are you stuck? Oh, there's a bridge. Never mind. <laughs> never mind, my mistake. Oh, so this key probably goes to the house all the way over here, doesn't it? Always answer something that seems stupid because there's bonus dialogue. Oh, okay. Interesting. Key to the old house. Hey, there we go. Let's go inside. 
Ooh, spooky. An old crumbling chest. Of course, there's a chest here. Oh, good to know. Okay. It's a hole in the floor. Oh, you find 5G. Nice. An old crumbling chest. Yeah, I got that the first time. Man, it sure is dark in here. Huh. Anyone else think this chest is a little too conveniently placed? It's probably fine. You got old sword. Here's hoping it doesn't shy on the first blow. <laughs> XP system in this game. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah. Ooh, money. Help. Oh, I'm gonna do so much grinding in this game. You know it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Did I cut these? No. Also Minecraft painting. Wait, what? Hold on a second. I wasn't looking at the walls. Not that. Ah! Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, that's cool. It's either this, which I don't think it is that. It's gotta be that then. I assume, because that one's broken. So it can't be that, surely. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's cool. I would have just mistaken it as a pixelated painting. I have a sword. Yeah. 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 No? Where's some bushes I can cut? Bush. Hey. And bush. Oop. Bush. What? Bush. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Hello. Man, it's so boring here. I can't wait for this vacation to be over when we go back to Genova. I'd rather be playing with my friends there and listening to the prophet's stories. Oh. Cool. That's it. Click the chest. What? Oh, wait. The chest that was under the painting? I'm a fool. I wasn't looking at the chat. Hold on. I thought I already got everything out of that chest. It was like 5G or something. I know there's a Minecraft achievement somewhere in this game. And I did get the Minecraft reference in the first game. Hmm? Oh, crumbling chest. Oh yeah, I thought I already got it. If you meant this chest, yeah, I already got the 5G. That is fine. Walking back and forth a bit is is fine. Oh shoot. Uh, crap. Uh, okay, so the alarm went off. My, my, my end, end the stream now, you fool alarm went off. Oh, trimmer, cool. Uh, oh, that's fine. People, people miss things because I sometimes move a little too fast. This was more obvious when I was playing things like Apex or, uh, or Titanfall. There's a chest somewhere here. Okay, I'm just trying to find, oh wait, no, every time I enter a building I get a save point. Right? It, does, it says that up in the top? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Alright then. Well, that means that we've actually already saved the game. <sighs> and because my alarm went off, that means we gotta get to the end of the stream. Unfortunately. But hey, this looks like it's gonna be a really cool game. Especially, you know, with this really, like, large inventory, to be honest.
So it looks like if you guys can see, oh, I can't uh, show you the cursor on screen. Okay, never mind. It looks like there's gonna be like four different kinds of weapons in this game. That'll be fun. And then um, three different companions, a bunch of crystals, some weird like metal looking thing. Don't know. Looks like it's just, there's a lot of stuff in this game though, so that'll be nice and, and fun to check out. But uh, as I said, we should probably get to the next part of the live stream. So uh, let me just set this up. Uh, let me just mute that. Since you know the game is saved and all, we can we don't have to look for a glowing save point, which is nice. Having the save points just on the on the doors, it's cool. Um. Where was I going with this? Oh, right, yeah. The next part of the, the uh, live stream, which is the verse of the day provided by the Version Bible app for iOS and Android with all different translations of the Bible for your reading pleasure. Today, we are reading uh, Matthew 23, 11. So let's see if I can just get my notes. So today's verse uh, says, whoever is the greatest should be the servant of the others. And just going over again, that's Matthew 23, 11 of the Contemporary English Version. Now, I think we're going to have a short verse today, as the point here is really simple and makes sense. Uh, and yes, this is what I do at the end of every episode. <clears throat> just to answer that question before I get asked it. So, the first thing that I want to do, though, is clarify one word in this uh, verse. As interpreting it incorrectly can change the meaning of the verse dramatically. Note that the word used in the verse is servant, not slave. This is a small difference, yes, but it has a big impact on the meaning of the verse. A servant serves others by choice, not because they have to. We're not intended to be slaves at the whim of others' demands, but individuals who make the choice to put others ahead of ourselves out of love. You don't have to serve out of obligation, you choose to serve as a way to express God's love to others. Hopefully you can see the drastic difference that this makes when you understand it properly. So let's get back to the whole verse though. Whoever is the greatest should be the servant of the others, is what it says. I like to look at that, I like to look at this in terms of skills, as it makes it very easy to understand. Now let's say we have a group of people, each whom is good at something different. Kind of like a an old classic RPG group but we're gonna put this in more real life terms we need to take we need to pick someone to take care of the financial aspects of the group we're a part of so who should we choose well we got the one who's good with computers the one who excels at story writing the scientist or the actor or should we choose the guy in the group who's good with numbers and finances probably we should pick that whoever is best at finances should serve the others of the group by doing the finances for the group that makes sense, right? I think too many people look at this verse in kind of an overarching way. They think of it, whoever is the greatest of all should serve. But who would that really refer to? God and anyone else? I, 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 don't, I don't think we can put anyone else on the list. The verse is written for all of us, so it needs to apply to all of us. And I think that this is an easy way to understand it. Take those gifts that God has blessed you with and serve others who were not given those gifts. At the same time, others should share the gifts which they have, and you don't, to serve the people who are not gifted the same way that they are. Makes sense. I, I think that makes sense. Now, I do think there's one more application to this verse, though. When you look at the concept of greatest, you can also see it in terms of hierarchy. The one who is greatest would be the one at the top, or the one with power over others. Again, this would be a situation where the verse would apply. The one with the power needs to serve those who don't have power or consider those under him or her ahead of themselves when making decisions. This is a sign of a good leader and often results in effective groups and successful businesses. People will follow you when they know that you have their best interest in mind when making decisions. Unfortunately, again, people often assume that this can't refer to them as they're not the head of some big corporation or organization. But it's quite likely you do have people who you are, you know, you have power over. How about parents? 
How about those who tend to make decisions for their friend group? How about if you're playing a multiplayer game and you're the group leader, or maybe you're a moderator on a chat forum or a, a Discord server? Remember to serve those. Re remember who? Yeah, sorry. Remember to serve those who, by choice or not, tend to follow you. Make your decisions to benefit them instead of yourself, and you'll probably find that your life gets easier as you'll all end up on the same team, working together. There's no better way to get people to join you than to be willing to serve them. It's not bribery, it's caring. And people just don't get enough of that these days. And uh, there we go. That is our verse for today. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm I'm glad that we finished Evo Land 2, and I'm very excited to see what Evo... Sorry, I'm very glad that we finished Evo Land 1, and I'm very excited to see what Evo Land 2 has to offer. I hope that you'll join me not only for our next episode on the 29th, which will be next Saturday, but also on our episode of MMO Mondays on the 24th, which will be going back into Destiny. I need to figure out what we'll be doing in Destiny, but we'll be heading back to Destiny 2 to uh, do some more stuff in, uh, in MMO Mondays. So, I hope to see you on Monday. I hope to see you back here on Saturday for another episode of Evil Land 2. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed today. Have a good day. Have a good week. God bless. And goodbye. I'll see you all next time.